Seth Godin is an American marketing expert, uh, best known for his series of books. Actually, a lot of these are on my top favorite list. Purple Cow, Lynchpin, The Dip, All Marketers Tell Stories, Tribes, Unleashing the Idea Virus. Like Those are the top ones that I think he's written. He's written dozens and dozens of these best-selling marketing books. But where he's most effective is in content marketing. And basically, Seth's blog has been around for years now, and he's blogged every single day without fail. Some of his posts get traction, some mature into other ideas. And in this video, I wanted to break down how Seth Godin does his blogging strategy, do an analysis of what that strategy is, and give some more clarity into how he's running his business and monetizing his blog. I'm Alex Berman from Experiment 27. Seth Godin's rule number one is blog daily regardless of length. Seth, without fail, will publish a post every single day. Comments are disabled on the blog, and his Twitter feed is a bot that just publishes his RSS feed. But if you want to hear the latest from Seth Godin, you just go over to Seth's blog, and post after post after post will be there. Some are very short, some are lengthy, but they are consistently blogged every single day. So if you're doing your content marketing strategy and wanting to model Seth Godin, Seth said himself that if you blog enough and you blog daily, the best ideas are going to pop up and those are going to be the ones that stick. Which actually brings us to our second point. Seth Godin's rule number two is package the best advice into books. Seth has said on countless times that his ideas for books come from his well-received posts. Everything from Purple Cow to We Are All Weird to The Dip have all come from blog posts that Seth Godin's written about. He also uses the blog to promote the books. So far the strategy is write small content daily, take that content, package it into a larger book, and then what's he do with the book? Well, that brings us to Seth Godin's rule number three, which is monetize with speaking engagements. Seth Godin's speaking fees, if you look around online, average about eighty dollars to $100,000 per event, and that's where he makes the majority of his revenue. He'll do speeches and speak to businesses, speak to colleges, and he'll monetize those, and that's where he makes the bulk of his revenue. He's launched a few courses in the past as well, but books and speaking events are his main source, and he actually uses his blog to create those book ideas, which then creates those speech ideas where he brings in his revenue. So that's an outline of Seth Godin's blogging strategy. Hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to like this video to encourage this type of content, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. I'm Alex Berman from Experiment 27. Reach out to us if you need help marketing your agency. Experiment27.co. Thanks.